Uh, I, I'm gonna go to the old school 70s moves, the locking, you know what I mean? You might have to put bam, 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 you know what I mean? Hi, it's Jill Monroe for EUR Web, and we are live on the red carpet at the Wearable Art Gala 2019. This gala is put together by Richard Lawson and Tina Knowles. Wearable Art Gala. Yeah, that's hot, but what's that mean? Red, black, and green. And the theme is the Lion King. Wearable Art Gala. Yeah, that's hot, but what's that mean? Red, black, and green. And the theme is the Lion King. Everything about the place is about art, from the visual art to the performing arts to just fashion and music and just the fusion of all that, but for a good cause because we do a lot of community work and we mentor kids and and it's, it, it's a great place. You should stop by and check it out. Can you tell me the importance of making sure that art connects with young black children and children of all ethnicities, but especially young black children? Well, especially young black children. When my children were growing up, the house was filled with images of African women and African American women so that they could know and not have one standard of beauty from the TV. So that's really important. And to see these proud, kingly, like everything from sharecropping and how resilient we are, it's, it's really important to, to teach your kids about art. I'm really like more like coming to America, I think. Uh, a little, little prince, I think I'm a prince. I'm a prince Akeem or something like that, so yeah, but I. But yeah, it's, it was fun. It's so much fun to see everybody else in the outfits and stuff like that, so yeah. You've been so busy this year, so much going on. That's my type, that's my type. Ah, you know that, I know. So what has been your most exciting moment this year and what are you looking forward to this summer? Uh, my most exciting moment is that the fact that my type is taking off and it's about to be bigger than Icy. And if you know, Icy was kind of like my entrance into the game. So the fact that I'm able to come with another hit is just amazing. I'm so honored to be at this event, to be invited at this event, to be able to give back to children of color. Because although it's fly, it's fun, it's fashionable, we're still giving back to children of color. And I, think, I feel like that's the most important cause. What inspired your look for tonight? Honestly, uh the theme, like they said Lion King, so I was like, all right, my mom is Trinidadian. I already got a little Afro-Caribbean situation, I'm a dancer, so I'm gonna just go in my closet and pull out the most colorful, vibrant, African Lion King looking thing that I can get. I grew up with Lion King, love Lion King. It's been many years and now it's back, right? But now I'm a mom, so when I first, you know, I now I'm like, I'm thinking Nala's mom, Simba's mom, and what would what would each one of them wear, or either one of them wear, and it just a sense of being regal, and so I wanted to add a headpiece and something elegant, and you did it, Queen. Thank you. What did you use to inspire your outfit for tonight? Well, I used my stylists, but, uh, we were looking through stuff and I was like, oh, this actually kind of reminds, these skulls remind me of the elephant graveyard. And then, of course, the pen is a lion. And on the pants, they look like just like camouflage pants, but they're actually animals. And they look like they're looking up at Pride Rock. You know, kids don't know that they can draw until they get a crayon and a piece of paper or a pencil. And so when, you know, it's important because it's, it's, it's it's a career, it's artistic, it's, it's, and it's beauty. That for black children specifically, we come from uh, a long history of uh, being enslaved uh, mentally, physically, um, being imprisoned, uh, and I think that extends into our philosophy. So art is the thing that allows you to imagine beyond the shackles, creative, mental, whatever you have on your actual feet or your ankle. It allows you to see beyond that. I tell everybody, if you invest in art, you are investing in beauty. You can express who you are, how you feel, how you see the world. And not only that, but art is one thing that does not depreciate. Yeah, but the, I think that the, what they're doing is supporting the artists. And I don't, I don't think that there's anybody out here that's doing what they're doing for people of color and nurturing uh, talent, future talent. I don't think. Do you think? I don't know. So I think this is really important and this is the reason why we're here. We are the creators of art. And so to bring something back to our kids that we are founders of and developers of um, in so many ways from the continent, I think it is just a powerful way to reconnect with our history, with our culture, with our roots. Um, and I, did, I just think that it's amazing that um, Miss Tina has used something that once she used that in her home, 
first um, and gave her kids the opportunity to express themselves through art. To bring that into our community is, is super inspiring, super empowering, and I'm so grateful she does it. Absolutely. So I'm really good friends with Richard and Tina uh, and what they're doing with their efforts with Richard's, Angel, uh, Richard's Warriors and Tina's Angels. I also am an ambassador alongside Grammy Award winner Miguel for a nonprofit called Tangible Movement. It's here in LA and they focus on mental health, specifically for youth, but also for the LGBT community. And I'm a member of that community. Um, and, and what we're doing is just building a place, a foundation for kids and youth to come and feel safe, feel welcome, have open dialect and conversation to help burn down that stigma that we have in the black community as it comes to mental health and mental awareness. Um, Art means economic development. Art means entrepreneurship. Art means a gateway to do something better for yourself, for your family, and for your community. It's your boy Atheon Crockett and you're watching EUR Web. It's a wearable art gala. Yeah, that's hot, but what's that mean? We're black and green. And the theme, the theme is the Lion King.